Morgoth is gone, leaving us alone and disgraced. But today, a new age begins. Under me, your new master, Sauron. Like, they don't already know that? I'm Walt. Yeah, just shut up, Walt. They know who you are. I'm sorry. So that's it? What, are we some kind of... Sauron. For I seek a new kind of power. Not of the flesh, but over flesh. I, I understood that reference. Many orcs will die. But out of the chaos, we will forge a new and perfect order. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. I like Shrek. That was really scary. And if you don't mind me saying, if that don't work, your breath certainly will get the job done, Cole. No longer will we be hunted as the demons who broke Middle Earth. Don't try it. Right, it didn't take. I am your only future! And my path, your only path! Doubt me at your peril. You have nowhere else to turn. The Valar will never forgive you. Elves will never accept you. Men will never look upon you with anything but horror and disgust. A corrupted and ignoble race worthy only to be hunted and slaughtered. Great pep talk, Carl. Put on the sound effects, put on the sound effects. A little too on the nose. Okay. You kind of set off an eternal winter everywhere. Now tell me where in the world is Sauron. Has this ever happened to you? Have you been the victim of having your life force sucked on by malevolent chunks of goo? Then you could qualify for financial c conversation. Just dial 1-800, I can't believe I actually watched Rings of Power season two. That's 1-800, I can't believe I actually watched Rings of Power season two. Don't fall victim to Sauron's latest scam. That's right, that's no regular goo. That's Sauron, the Dark Lord, the Abhorrent, Anatar, Lord of Gifts, the Lord of the Rings, Gorthar the Cruel, Myron, Lord of Mordor, the Lord of the Lord of Wolves, he goes by that too. Artano, Thu, Elendil, the Necromancer, King of King, King of Men, Lord of the Earth. Lord of the world, it's different. The shadow, the enemy, Zagur. And last but not least, a, a giant black blob of goo. Next time you're on a lonely road, make sure you know what you're stepping in. I bet you never knew that
That way lies death, friend. And that is my path. An army of orcs moves against men. We were the fortunate ones. Perhaps the fortunate ones were the first to die. Why are you sad? They say there's places across the sea a man can escape himself, find another path, perhaps another life. Come with us if you like. Wait, are, are they really doing what I think they're doing here? Let, let's see. Oh. Walk on, and keep chasing death. Over here! Tides of fate are flowing. Yours may be heading in. Or out. They are! With this... I... This makes no sense! They are completely contradicting everything that they set up in season one. I genuinely don't understand what is happening here. These writers are so bad they can't keep track of their own story. Let me break it down for you. So this is supposed to be a flashback scene explaining how Sauron became Halbrand and giving us more insight to his character motivation through backstory. But instead, it just messes everything up. The timeline is ruined now. Season one established that after Morgoth died, Sauron took over as general leader of the army and waged a, a really long war in which Galadriel's brother died. In the end, Morgoth would be defeated, but not before much sorrow, for his orcs had spread to every corner of Middle-earth, multiplying ever greater under the command of his most devoted servant, a cruel and cunning sorcerer. They called him Sauron. This shows the opposite of that. This shows the orcs staging a coup d'etat and killing Sauron before he's crowned as their Dark Lord. Now, some of you may argue that's not necessarily the case. Maybe he did lead the armies for a long time, but now the orcs are getting tired of him and it's reached a boiling point and now they are rebelling. Season 1 showed Sauron wearing Morgoth's crown. Now, maybe through revisionist history, it was actually Adar who was leading the armies that whole time and Sauron was ousted from the beginning. But again, they show you footage of Sauron as a general leading the armies. So that also doesn't make sense. They've contradicted themselves, but it gets worse. Season one also establishes that the time between Morgoth's death and the beginning of Rings of Power season one is a thousand years. And so we hunted. To the ends of the earth, we hunted Sauron. Year gave way to year. Century gave way to century. Galadriel spent a thousand years hunting down Sauron after the death of her brother, who died at the hands of Sauron leading the orcs. My brother vowed to seek him out and destroy him, but Sauron found him first. But again, apparently, Sauron was rejected immediately following Morgoth's death. Now, maybe the answer is that the footage that we saw wasn't actually Sauron, that was Morgoth before he died, but it doesn't track with the narration, which literally says, this is Sauron. Under the command of his most devoted servant, a cruel and cunning sorcerer. They called him Sauron. And it's obviously supposed to be Sauron because they're very clearly copying the imagery from Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings movies. Which they do a lot this season. They repurpose so much dialogue from those movies just in this episode. But moving on from that, we have even more inconsistencies now. Because Galadriel also said this. More and more of our kind began to believe that Sauron was but a memory. And the threat at 
at last was ended. So near the end of the thousand year search, the orcs eventually disappeared. Except that this episode says the opposite. That way lies death, friend. There are orcs just attacking villages, and we know that the word has to spread because we're literally seeing the refugees fleeing the scene. Could this be explained by these events happening a long time ago? No, because this scene leads directly into Sauron going out on a ship where he gets shipwrecked and meets Galadriel in the ocean. So this happens right before season one, which creates more problems because the whole plot of that first episode was Galadriel trying to find Sauron and she follows his tracks to the ice castle, which apparently has been dormant for a thousand years. But what was their purpose? Surely it is lost to the ages now. Whatever happened here was long ago. The last time I saw it was on my brother. We must follow it. The mark is centuries old. Whoever left it could be long dead. Except in this episode, Sauron, Adar, and all of the orcs were just barely there. So which is it? Did this happen a thousand years ago or did it happen right before season one? Either answer you pick doesn't work. They each create a different problem with the timeline. These writers are morons and yet they're on strike every other week demanding more money. This show should have never seen the light of day. Amazon should be embarrassed by this. This should be another tax write-off. But because they spent a billion dollars on it, that wouldn't make sense. So now they're just paying journalists and bots to just create this artificial hype for this show. Show me a real-life person who likes this. I've never met one. Subscribe to the channel and you can join us along for the ride And if you pay me, I'll try to be more entertaining So please consider joining Patreon